Alright, good morning folks. It's Tuesday and it finally came. The mo uh, <clears throat> it's that Vortex Scout Scope that I had on order. And it is a 2x7x32 by by with the 9 inch eye relief. And I'm fixing to uh, I uh, torque down the uh, screws or the, the bolts for the uh, mounting rings and I'm fixing to put the tops on and uh, I've got to go and look and see I think you're not supposed to exceed 18 uh, inch pounds of uh, of torque on those wrenches but let me get all this put in and uh, I'll get the barska on the end of it we'll get it sighted in for a hundred yards and uh, I'll bring you back don't have room for the tripod all right, I've got everything. Uh, I've got it torqued down to 18 inch pounds, and uh, <clears throat> the uh, torque tool that I have is uh, in uh, Newton meters. So you do need to go online. Uh, they say not to exceed 18 inch pounds on the uh, on the uh, torque on the rings, <clears throat> and when you convert it over, 18 inch pounds is two. Uh, it's actually a little bit over two uh, newton meters, so I just kept it at two and uh, got all uh, got all eight screws torqued down. So now I'll get the barska out and uh, fit it into the end of that barrel and dial it in so that it will at least be on the paper. And then when I get the chance, I'll probably end up with about three or four videos uh, shooting guns. So anyway. Uh, let me do that and I'll bring you back and I'll tell you a little. I had a question on a, a previous uh, video I had and they were wanting to know what was on the end of the barrel and it was that Barska bore sight. So I'll, I'll uh, kind of talk about that in a minute. So just stay tuned. Alright man, we're dialed up at uh, theoretically uh, 100 yards on paper. That's the Barska and it's got the... Uh, there's a grid in there. I don't think I'm not going to be able to get the right angle for this, but you just kind of see if I can even make this work. I'll make myself crazy trying. Anyway, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that grid or not. It's hard to. I don't want to cause anybody to go into seizures, but. That's what I use to dial in the uh, crosshairs to the center of the grid on that uh, on that Barska. And there it is. This is the uh, Mosin the Gaunt M44 carbine, Monte Carlo stock, and I forget who the manufacturer is on this. They made the uh, magazine for it, and the uh, I got the uh, aim sight rail, which had to be milled a little bit to fit the uh, the rear sight on this gun, and then uh, UTG scope rings, and of course again the vortex. Yeah, the cameraman sucks. The vortex uh, scout. And that is the uh, the seven uh, two two dash seven by thirty two two seven by thirty two. Anyway, and it's uh, I think they call it a V plex. Yeah, it's the V plex. All right, man. This brings this one to a close. Uh, if you have any uh, any questions, man, just to put it down on the bottom. There's not too many uh, Mos and the Gaunt videos anymore since. Oh since uh, a couple of uh, yeah anyway the uh, accessory parts and stuff are getting kind of hard to find all right man you guys have a great week catch you on the next video